Okay, in this session we're going to do a little quick Q-mix and uh, crossfader. So what I want to do is just drag one clip on and press play. Okay, now how do I listen to this and this at the same time without having it go to the house? Here's how. Due to the limitations of recording video and Ableton and my voice all at the same time, I am limited to a little two-track interface, but what we're going to do is make a little Q-mix out of just two channels even. So here's how it works. I have a master output. This is where my house mix goes out. I have a Q output, and right now they're set to the very same thing. So since I'm only working with two channels, I'm going to uh, send the master to output two and the Q to output one. If, of course, you have a multi-channel interface, this would be like one and two and three and four. So on the master, I'm going to say um, channel two. On the queue, I'm going to say channel one. Okay, and I'm just going to play along. That's my master level. Now I'm going to listen to another track here. And I'm going to scroll around. Okay, I can go to a different one. Okay, so that is a basic cue mix. Now, if I wanted to load this track on the fly, it would look something like this. I'd be playing along, and I'm just going to drag this over to new channel. And if I press play here, I'm going to have both tracks at once because I'm now I'm no longer in a cue mix. I'm I'm going to my master output. So I'm going to quickly set up this crossfader. Completely so easy. So I have A on the one track and B on the other. I'm going to just right click this MIDI track and lose it. And now that's what we have. So I'm going to crossfader to the left. I'm going to start this other track. And then There it is, as easy as can be. Now, there's a cue mix here. If I hit solo, then I can also listen to what's going on on channel A. Here we go. Got it? Now when I go back to this track, I can listen to what's going on on channel B. If I want to advance in that track some, I just double click it. I advance and then listen. Say I like it right there. I'm gonna go back and then here we go. Bam! It is so cool the way Ableton works this way. Okay, so in terms of setting up more complicated things and crossfader stuff, we'll deal with some of that more in Live with Live, but know this. I can right click my crossfader. Let me get this over. Just be aware that there's lots of different settings in here that you can pick on this. And in later lessons, I'll show you how to map this to a controller.